How's it going Talk Forest TV? My name is Jack and welcome to my video about the new signing at the city ground, Loic MB So. I've got no idea if I said that right, but um, I'm sure we'll find out in the coming coming weeks um, how we do pronounce his name. Now I'm really excited for this one, absolutely buzzing. You know, apparently PSG wanted to keep hold of the young centre back, so to be able to um to get his signature is huge for us. He's yes, a young player, a lot of potential. You know, if if things go well for him, and unfortunately they don't go as well for us, we could make a we could make a huge profit on him. You know, you look at the way we dealt with the cash situation, we could we could get a healthy profit for the for the youngster. So I'm really excited about that. You know, I just I think it's really promising for the club. We've made some really good businesses, bits of business so far this season. You know, Black it in, got good experience. Lau Taylor, he's a goal getter at this sort of level. You know, um, Bashiru, I'm not too sure about him. That was a bit more of a gamble. Jack Colback, he's been at the club before. He knows what it's like, so well, that's sensible business there. But, you know, I'm really, really excited, really looking forward to seeing what Loic can do at the club, you know. I think um, I'll be interested to see whether Sabri goes for him as a first choice or more of a backup, whether he drops either one or figure out for him. If he's going to drop one of them, I, I presume it will be to, uh, Tobias because Joe Wall did play every single minute of the championship season last year. So um, it looks like he would favour him over Figueiredo, but maybe he might even go three at the back or use use him as a backup for the time being. I'm not too sure how it's going to work, but I don't think you can really pass up the opportunity to get a youngster who's got that sort of hype around him. PSG really wanted to hold on to him, so you know that's that's only positive signs. You know. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Is it going to be another sort of, like, Muric was a quite a highly rated player at City, came in, was not good at all. So is it going to be something like that? I really hope not. I've got, I'm really excited about this. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this sort of um, deal pans out, how we can sort of use him in the side. Will he be using him, like I said, as a first choice or as a backup? It'll be interesting to see. Obviously, he probably won't be playing against QPR um, tomorrow because he'll need to be bedded into the squad. He'll need to sort of get up to scratch with Sabri's tactics. But it's still a really, really promising deal, a really interesting one. I'll be really interested to sort of see how things pan out for that one. Um, I heard we were also looking at Perry NG, a defender from um, Crew, more of a right back. So I don't know whether he'll be a backup or whether he'll come in as a first choice if we do get him. But our business so far, I've been very, very chuffed with it. I think if we can get Perry NG over the line, that's a very sensible signing, a good young English player, and maybe a, a first choice left winger. And I'd be delighted. I'd be over the moon with the way that we've we've um, conducted ourselves in the transfer window so far this season. So yeah, positive strides, positive business from the club. Um, let's hope it is a um, positive signing in terms of performance. And um, let's hope he can hit the ground running. So if you did enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe to Talk Boys TV if you're new around there, and come on you Reds.